Hello everyone and welcome back to Car Venus 14. Now today is actually a very very different style of video that we're going to be doing um, and that's because what I want to really do today is more of a discussion video right um, so yeah now what is this discussion actually supposed to be about well good question honestly good question now as you all know, Shorekeeper is currently available on the banner. And everyone is saying that she is a must-pull character and things like that. And honestly, I don't disagree with them. Shorekeeper is, in my opinion, actually a bit like... No, not a bit, but probably as good as Zhongli is in Genshin Impact. Like, you know how Zhongli is the kind of character you just smack on your team and just face tank everything? Shorekeeper is kind of like that character, except there is still some skill to involve. She's not as strong as Zhongli in, like, you won't take no damage at all. But, you know, she's still very, very strong. But I know what you're thinking. Well, why make this video then if everyone and their mother is saying it? Well, that's because I'm talking about a very, very weird relationship that Shorekeeper seems to have with the character I'm currently using, Jin Shi. Now, for those of you that don't know... Jinshi does actually require you to run some level of coordinated attacks in her kit, whether that be one character or two characters, and for, well, ever since Jinshi came out in patch 1.1, her best meta team was actually Verena, Yuan Wu, and Shorekeeper, right? Uh, sorry, uh, Verena, Yuan Wu, and Jinshi. Why? Because Yuan Wu would be able to generate a very, very high amount of coordinated attacks very easily. In fact, the easiest, in my opinion, out of every other coordinated attack unit. And then Verena was just, well, Verena's Verena, right? She's, like, broken, effectively. Well, a really good support. And now Shorekeeper's come out, and everyone is saying that she's just Verena, but better, right? And honestly, there is some truth to that. Don't get me wrong, she is very, very good in what she, Shorekeeper does. But the thing is, is I don't think she's a direct replacement to Verena in Jinshi teams. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is that? Well, it's simple. Shorekeeper does everything that Verena does, but better. She heals more. She gives you more buffs. Um, her Well, the buffs that she does give have more potency than Verena. But the one thing... The one thing that Verena has that Shorekeeper doesn't have is definitely coordinated attacks. Now, Jinchi's incandescent stacks obviously revolve around getting as much off-field damage from other resonators as possible, right? And coordinated attacks are definitely the best form of doing so. So, Verena has coordinated attacks built into her ultimate. Shorekeeper doesn't have any form of coordinated attacks. Her butterflies don't count as coordinated attacks, which, I mean, if they did, she would definitely be one of the best supports in the game. Uh, simply because of the fact that she can be, you know, used on Jin Shi, no restrictions. But Shorekeeper can't exactly do that now. Because of the fact that there's no coordinated attacks in her kit. But, here's what I'm saying. Shorekeeper is good on Jin Shi teams, but only in one certain scenario. You need one other character other than Shorekeeper on this team. It's not Yuan Wu, it's not Yin Lin, it's not Mortefi, and it's not um, Verena either. It's actually another coordinated attack unit that recently came out in the previous patch, 1.2, her name being Zhezhi. Right? Now, Zhezhi, okay, has her coordinated attacks on her ultimate. And why is that? A good thing. Well, the thing is, is unlike all of the other, most of the other units in the game, or well, unlike some units, like, well, no, actually no. Unlike Yuan Wu, who is the only unit that has this issue, Yuan Wu's coordinated attacks, okay, only happen inside this circle, right? So if you're outside of this circle, like here, you're not getting coordinated attacks anymore. Okay, let me put it down on a flat surface. You're, once you step out of this circle, no more coordinated attacks, right? But you can see the range is pretty damn big. Right, it's like from here all the way to basically here where it was, right? So it's still pretty damn big. But the thing is, is if you step out of it, obviously no more coordinated attacks. And a lot of enemies in this game are very, very mobile, especially the bosses. The bosses are extremely mobile in this game, right? 
And that's the issue. Now, there are other coordinated attackers, Mortefi, right? Mortefi, for example. But the, the thing is, is Mortefi, um, his resonance liberation, I mean, his resonance Please liberation is his source of coordinated worry. attacks. And I Mortefi is better used in teams that, you know, specify, you know, are better off in heavy attack um, t uh, damage, right? Yeah, because he stacks up his own uh, damage system through heavy attacks more, and he also gives uh, more heavy attack damage bonus as well, which means he's completely useless with um, Jin Shi. Then there's Yin Lin. Now, Yin Lin's forte circuit is how she generates her coordinated attack, but there is a problem with that. Jin Shi, uh, Yin Lin does so much damage to the point where she actually ends up overkilling the enemy sometimes. So when you actually apply the coordinated attack mark on them, they're already nearly dead, and once they die, the coordinated attack, uh, the coordinated mark disappears as well, which is sometimes a bit of a problem. Now, obviously, against bosses, that's not an issue at all, but against regular mob enemies, you can actually overkill them a lot because of how much damage Yen Lin deals. So that's not really ideal either. And I mean, like I said, Varina's good, but out of all of the coordinated attack generators, I think she is, she has the slowest um, coordinated attack generation. And she also is the exact same element as, um, you know, Ye, uh, what's her, Jin Shi. So that effectively makes her a little bit weaker already in the coordinated attack department. So Zhe Zhi is where this all comes in. Now Zhe Zhi can provide a very large amount of coordinated attacks, 21 during her burst. Her burst is also global, so there's no range limit for you to worry about, right? Yeah, and she generates a very, very nice amount of coordinated attacks. Now, if you didn't know, for every one coordinated attack um, uh, that hits an opponent, Jin Shi will gain two incandescent stats. And if you do the math, Zhe Zhi applies 21 um, coordinated attacks, right? 21 of these coordinated attacks. 21 multiplied by 2 is 42, and Jin Shi has a maximum limit of 50, okay? Now, that means, you know, through Jue, right, you can probably get the other, what's it called? Through Jue, you can get the other 8 very, very easily. So, that's actually pretty damn good. So Zheji is like the perfect support. Like, you only need Zheji in order to generate coordinated attacks for Jin Shi, right? And that will be enough. So that's why Shorekeeper... That's the only scenario Shorekeeper really works with Yin... Uh, not Yin Lin. Jin Shi. Shorekeeper doesn't generate any um, coordinated attacks on her own. So she needs another unit on her team that gives you a load of coordinated attacks. And... Who's better than Zheji? I mean, Zheji quite literally is built to be one of the best sub-DPS units for Jin Shi. Her outro skill gives resonance skill damage bonus. Um, she has a very high amount of coordinated attacks that are generated, okay? And she also does a lot of damage on top of all of that. So you're not ju you also um, are really good because uh, in that regard. Because once Jin Shi does her full combo, right? Once she after she does you know Ill Illuminous Epiphany, which is her dragon you know laser beam, right? Jue's laser beam effectively. Once that's done. Jin Shi doesn't have any damage, right? She she kind of has to go off cooldown. In fact, you're kind of forced to play her in that regard. So you need someone else that deals damage. And obviously, Zhe Zhi's entire identity isn't just being a good support for Jin Shi, but also being a good sub DPS, right? Or also being a good DPS, which is why her identity in the game is a sub DPS. She not only supports other teammates, but she also... Where am I going? She also gives you um, good damage on the team. I mean, she does good damage on her own. So, Jin Shi, Zhe Zhi, and Shorekeeper. Shorekeeper buffing your crit rate, your crit damage, healing you, giving you the Fallacy or the Bellborn buff, and the Moonlit Clouds buff as well. Oh, sorry, the rejuvenating glow uh, buff as well and then you've got Zheji which is giving you moonlit clouds coordinated attack resonance skill damage and stuff like that so yeah in fact i'm pretty sure um that is the meta team right now i mean jinshi is just the meta dps she is the strongest dps in the game as of right now right yeah her damage is like uncontested she deals a load of damage very consistently right yeah 
and with more sequences, she gets a lot better. Now, Shorekeeper is actually kind of insane as well, because her S2, which is actually not a difficult constellation to go for, um, because of how, you know, the, the, the store system where you can buy, like, fates and stuff like that, right? You can actually get her S2 um, relatively easier than you would actually think, right? And once you get her S2, that basically gives her... Well, that basically makes it so that her ult constantly gives you 40% extra attack. Let that sink in, right? That is genuinely, genuinely ridiculous. So a lot of people are saying that Shorekeeper doesn't work well with Jinshi because she doesn't give coordinated attacks. The, th the misconception there is that you need... Sure, you don't need Shorekeeper to be doing any coordinated attacks at all. If you have someone that gives you a load of coordinated attacks, like Zheji, then you're fine. Now, I know what you're thinking. Most of us don't have... Most of us do not have Zheji. Some of us don't have Zheji, right? Perfectly fine, okay? But for those of you that were lucky enough to get Zheji, all right, during... Her banner, then congratulations. If you want to go for Shorekeeper, you have just created one of the strongest teams that probably will ever exist in this game for a long period of time, right? Yeah. Well, unless Camellia comes out and ruins everything. But, but, what I'm trying to say, Jinshi users, May okay, maybe if you fun. have that stripe to go for Shorekeeper, if you have Zheji, then sure by all means, go ahead. But, I will say this as a last reminder to you guys. I don't think Shorekeeper is worth pulling for Jin Shi if you don't have Zheji, because I honestly don't think anyone else in the game can generate as much coordinated attacks as reliably as Zheji. Mortefi is not going to benefit Jin Shi at all right? Like, at all. Yin Lin overkills a little bit too consistently for me, for my own liking, right? And she also requires, to, um, she also requires you to actually build up her forte circuit, which will take time, right? Yeah. With Zheji, all you need is just a bunch of energy regen, which you probably will be putting a decent amount into, right? Um, and then you just, well, actually, no, because from what I've heard, Zheji doesn't actually need that much energy regen. Like, all she needs is about 120 to 130% energy regen, and you'll be fine, right? Yeah. So, you don't even need a load of energy regen, right? So, you are actually better off um, if you have Zheji, because she's not very expensive to build. She's very cheap investment. Um, she's pretty free-to-play friendly as well, because of the fact that she can dodge very easily with her elemental skill. Or, and Forte Circuit. So, um, yeah. But, like I said, guys, Shorekeeper is a brilliant unit. But I've actually been meaning to make this video a while ago because a lot of people are saying Shorekeeper is a must-pull. She is brilliant in every single team comp. I thought to myself, hold on, she doesn't give coordinated attacks, which isn't good. She's also Spectro as well, which isn't good for Jin Shi because Jin Shi's um, incandescent stacks only stack off of uh, uh, characters with different elements compared to her, right? The only reason Verena's actually viable is because Verena gives coordinated attacks as well, but Shorekeeper doesn't even do that. So your incandescent stack generation is a lot lower. I know what you're thinking. Well, it's just incandescent stacks. You're not missing out a lot. You are missing out a lot. I mean, let, let, let's take a look, all right? You are missing out a lot. If we take a look at Jinshi's Forte circuit, the Illuminous Epiphany stack damage, okay, right? The Illuminous Epiphany base damage at level 10 is 347.92. And the damage per incandescent stack multiply is 44.54%. That means each stack is worth 44.54%. So if you do the math, all right, which, um, let's see, 45 multiplied by 50, okay? Well, 40 multiplied by 50 is 2,000. Um, 5 multiplied by 250 is also 250, so 4,250 for 45%. So if we reduce that by like 0.5, that is around 4,190, 4, give or take, somewhere around there, right? Yeah, if we do the math in our head, 4,190%. 
That's a lot of bonus, like, multiplier added on to that, right? It's one of the reasons why Jinshi hits so bloody hard, right? So each incandescent stack is worth a lot, all right? So if you're losing out on incandescent stacks, it is not worth at all. Gaining 25% crit damage is not worth losing a good you know, like a good 300% multiplier. And yes, it will be around that much, right? It's not worth at all. So, yeah. If you want to go for, basically, guys, end of the, what the bottom line effectively is, is Shorekeeper. If you want to pull Shorekeeper exclusively for Jin Shi, all right, it might not actually be worth it unless you have Zheji on your account because I don't think anyone else in the game generates coordinated attacks as well as Zheji. Not as well, but I mean, I mean not as much. What I mean to say as well is as consistently as Zheji, as well as high amount. Because Zheji gives you a high amount of coordinated attacks, which translates to a high amount of incandescent stacks consistently. Right, and you can also I'm burst, sure burst, or true. use her resonance liberation, like you know, m in most of uh, Jinshi's rotations. Yeah, so she is actually very, very consistent in incandescence stack generation. But that is the only case I think Jinshi uh, will work well with Shorekeeper. Shorekeeper is a brilliant support. She really is. Not only does she provide you amazing damage, but also insane survivability with her healing, as well as the dodge counter you know, get me out of jail free card Can effectively as her outro skill, right? It would be my but I think, honestly, she is only worth pulling for if I'm you already sure have someone uh, like Zheji that generates a high amount of incandescent stacks for you. And I honestly think Zheji is the only one that actually does the job by herself. I don't think there's anyone else that, you know, anyone else. Yeah, because... Yinlin, Mortefi, um, Yuan Wu, they all do generate a good amount, but they're not very consistent compared to Zheji. Zheji gives you a high amount of incandescent stacks at a very consistent rate, right? Yeah, so you don't have to worry about any RNG business happening during your runs, right? So the bottom line is, guys, is pull for Shorekeeper if and only if you have Zheji on your Jinshi team. If you don't, then honestly, it might not be worth pulling for Shorekeeper right now. Of course, for anyone that's watching this video and is saying Shorekeeper's a must-pull, I don't care, I'm not going to listen to this guy, fair enough, go ahead, it's your account and your money and your pulls, so I'm not here to babysit you, I'm just here to give advice. If you're explicitly, remember, explicitly wanting to pull Shorekeeper for Jin Shi, think, because if you don't have Zheji, I don't believe she's actually worth it at all. And you can take a look at other videos and see what people are running with Shorekeeper and Jinshi as well, right? Most of them, if not all of them, will be running Zheji on the on the Jinshi and Shorekeeper team as well, right? Shorekeeper's a brilliant unit. Easily an upgrade to any team that uses Verena, except, except Jinshi teams. Unless you have Zheji, she is not an upgrade to Jinshi teams. If anything, she might be more of a detriment, okay? So do be careful when pulling for Shorekeeper. She is an amazing character and easily the strongest buffer in the game as of right now. And she is an upgrade to every single team, all right? Zheji Hypercarry, Yuan... Uh, uh, not Yuan, sorry. Zheji Hypercarry, Ji Yan Hypercarry, um... Uh, Zhang Li Yao hypercarry and even Kalcharo hypercarry, um, right? And even Ling Yang teams, if you do still use him. Encore as well, Chang Li uh, hypercarries uh, or quick swap teams, right? She is easily an upgrade for every single team that exists on this planet right now, okay? Except for Jin Shi, because of the coordinated attack, lack of generation there, and also the fact that she's the same element as her. But if you have Jin, if you have Zheji, pull for Shorekeeper for Jinshi. If not, refrain from it. That's all I'm going to say. This probably didn't need to be this long, but I like overemphasizing things to make my points clear. So, 
Anyway, guys, that has been the video. I have been Carvinus14 and still am. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. And do stay tuned because I do want to do more Wuthering Waves content, especially with Jinshi's um, rumored rerun around. I do want to be making some Jinshi guides and stuff like that because I didn't have the chance to do it the first time around because I was still unsure uh, on making a Jinshi guide because of how kind of behind I was in the game. But now that we're already caught up to everyone else, do be expecting some more Jinshi content in the future. I have been Carvinus14 and Salam, and I've already said this twice now. Goodbye!